Sandy Alcantara is minus 130 as the odds-on favorite to win the award, yet did not get the start last night for the National League in the All-Star game. Many felt that was disrespectful, despite giving it to the grandeur of Clayton Kershaw at home inside Dodger Stadium in L.A. Sandy did pitch the second inning, one, two, three, striking out the first batters or the first two batters of his inning of work. Do you think Alcantara right now, Jim, is even more motivated to cash that minus 130 price? Yeah, I'm curious. Could he get better if he were if he were mad like the the ang- angry Sandy narrative? Could that work? But like, honestly, I'm not sure how much better he can get because he was so good in that first half. Uh, and honestly, like. That there was a picture on Twitter of like Clayton Kershaw in front of like the crowd at Dodger Stadium in the All Star game. That kind of made it worth it to me uh, to have him yeah. start. I think that Alcantara deserved it, but hey, I, I I want to see the cool thing. So I liked Kershaw starting because of that reason. But I think that the issue that Alcantara has is not anything to do with his team, not anything to do with the fact that he's disrespected there, but. His issue might be Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns, 7-1 to one to win the NL Cy Young. We got that Brewers team that uh, is playing really well. My numbers like a lot. I think that they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the second half. And Corbin Burns is a big part of that. He is on a heater right now, getting a lot of strikeouts, but also he's been making some changes, throwing a couple fewer curveballs recently. That's led to an improvement in his hard hit rate, where he's letting up a lot less hard contact. And if you pair those two things together, which is what's led Sandy Alcantara to being a menace, is you can really light things up. So Corbin Burns, I think, is the biggest obstacle to Sandy Alcantara winning this award. And I think there is actually value there in Burns at 7-1. to one. Given the team that he's on, given how good he is, given the potential he has, if he can keep that strikeout, hard hit rate combo going, that's pretty fun. So I think that it, I think I'm leaning towards Corbin Burns right now at seven to one because that price is good because uh, I think that he's just a nasty, nasty pitcher on a very good team. 